guys, what's up? This is just a quick video to give you a little taster of some of the results which you can achieve by using parts of my brand new sample pack, Future Jack Volume 1, created by me, DOD. Okay, so Future Jack is all about big groovy bass lines, high energy jacking beats, and mind bending electronic sounds. Uh, you might have heard of some of my tracks from this year, like Sixes on Axe Tone and Satisfy on Size, and a whole load of other tracks which I made in a Future Jack style. Well, if you like the sound of them, you are in the right place. I've not held back in the creative process of making this sample pack. I've created the parts, how I would do for my own tracks, so that you guys really do get the very best of my ideas. I also wanted this pack to be as user-friendly as possible, whether you're a producer starting off or you're an already established producer, hopefully it's got a little bit of something in there for everyone. There's plenty of loops that you can drag and drop into the project, but there's also lots of MIDI in there too for all the synth melodies, so you can really get creative and put your own stamp on the track that you're making. Not forgetting the jacking drums, which is just the foundation of Future Jack. There's enough top loops in there to keep you going for a while, uh, so if you download this sample pack, I guarantee you will be a Future Jack pro. Okay, let's jump into the walkthrough. I think let's just kind of go through the track, and yeah, we'll just catch a bit of a vibe. I'll talk about the parts, some of the creative process. Uh, so yeah, these sounds uh, and loops, I really, really did want to make it as easy as possible for you guys. Just drag and drop. I did the EQ, so you don't have to. Obviously, you can do the EQ also. Uh, but yeah, I just tried to make it as easy as possible. So yeah, let's just get started. Uh, starting off with things like melody loops. Really simple, works well. All of these loops, uh, the melody loops, have a bass loop to go along with it. And the melody loops also come with MIDI, so that you can get really, really, really creative. Uh, you can add your own sounds and do whatever you want with them. So yeah. Something so simple as filtering it in a bass works really, really well. Not forgetting the jacking drums here. These are some of my best drums that I've made. You guys are lucky. A layered destruction sound here, with a higher one. And I also created a reverse reverb as a transition. Snare builds here, I like to create my own snare builds. I put the snare sounds into contact, uh, which is good because I can also pitch them up and uh, filter them as well. Uh, so these snare sounds are in the sample. Something which I like to do is to have a kick here, following the snare, doing some low end. Nice and fat, nice and fat. So I actually use the same kick in all of my tracks. You probably might have heard that already. Um, and I like to use double kicks. Double kicks give tracks a real, real good housey kind of feel. Um, yeah, these drums are fat. And jacking, of course. Bass lines are fat. I think what I've done there is also added a, a distortion on top. So you guys can add whatever you want onto these things. I just added this to make it sound even faster. There's lots and lots of these little vocal samples which I created myself. I like to do things on the second beat as well. Just gives a, gives a nice little vibe. Woo! Woo! I like to do a lot of little um, snare fills as well. And what I also like to do in my tracks is I'll cut out, so say for instance here with this percussion loop, percussion top loop, I uh, left the first beat clear, which lets the double kick kind of breathe. Yo. Like that. So again, all of these bases have a synth to go along with it. 909's there. Okay. 
okay. You can do a lot of cool stuff with these vocals. So say for instance here, um, something which I like to do is I like to delay stuff. And then after the delay, I like to put a, um, a pitch bender to get an effect like this. Which is pretty cool. So you hear it. Yeah? It works well. Oh, there we go. Okay, next one. So again, a nice little filter on um, on a bass loop, I feel can give a track some uh, real different tone of volume. And then just as we're going into the build, I like to take down, take it down there, which will give the track some more sub which indicates that yes, okay, we're going into a nice build up here. Vocal sample there, pitched up. Jack and drums for days. Nine on nine star again. Yep. I try to make these sounds as original as possible for you guys. Oh, my computer is not having a good time today. I'm sure all of you guys are familiar with that message. So yeah, uh, I mean, here's just a demonstration of uh, the MIDI. So this is uh, from Melody Loop. 41, which is in D, um, put the MIDI in, open up contact, drag and drop the sounds into contact or whatever sampler you are using. Um, I like to add and layer these sounds and maybe I put, um, put one of the sounds plus seven semitones or something just to give it a bit of different tonal quality. <laughs> And there's lots of cool kind of housey vibes in this track. And some dirty vibes as well. Cool house vibes. The basses are really, really, really fat in these tracks. So there you go, guys. That was the walkthrough using parts and the sample pack. Future Jack Volume 1, which is available to download now on Loop Masters. Uh, you know, it really is for you guys to get creative with, uh, with the parts. Um, you know, whether you're a pro or you're not a pro, hopefully there's something in there for everyone. Um, I hope you can uh, enjoy the sample pack, you know, and you uh, get creative. I can't wait to hear what you're all gonna do with it. Um, getting a vibe, yep, get creative, but most of all, have fun. Peace out, guys. My name is DOD.